a geek on the internet turns into a palm in the face. What's up, my people? Zemgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Kamen Rider 01DX Hidden 01 Driver. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So at the front here, we have the driver, then we have a 01 up top here, we have the included progress key. On the side of the box, we have a 01 things and stuff, stuff and things, things and stuff to read. Up top here, we have a nice picture there of 01 again. The driver on the bottom, the driver 01. On the back of the box, we have your obligatory product shots. This, that's the other things and stuff, stuff and things. Warn! Why did they cover it up with a sticker? Dang it. And we have Sun Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the Zero One Driver. So yes, we have bid farewell to Kamen Rider Gio and the Heisei era, and we welcome the first writer of the Heiwa era, Kamen Rider Zero One, into our lives for the upcoming year. And here is the driver that he will be using to transform. And I dig the design of this driver. It's very weird, but I dig it. It's just, it's... It's like art, you know, it's just, it's abstract, but I like it, I dig it. But let's get in closer here so we can take a look at the details. You have some nice metallic red right here. This section here done in that nice silver chrome and nice and shiny. You get that nice highlighter color throughout as well. You have this section here to scan your progress keys. And you also have a little arrow there, which points to the slot here on the side, which is where you will insert your progress keys. And here's the bottom. And here is the back. The battery compartment is right here. It takes uh, three AAA batteries, which are not included. You will have to get those yourself. Your on-off switch is right here, and your speaker is right there. And there's also a slot on this side for a future upgrade. Hmm. Can't wait to see what that's going to be all about. <laughs> but yeah, um, like I said, an abstract yet cool looking driver and of course being a belt it does include belt parts you get the strap here again done in a nice highlighter color the typical silver strap and the little centerpiece here to hold your slack which is basically in the icon shape the ghost icon shape just with a little extra detail molded in there and of course it works as all of these belt straps do you have these little buttons here you push them and they press these pegs, and you just clip it on the one side, you clip it on the other side, and voila, you now have a belt. And of course, as usual, these are made for children, so this really won't fit most adult weights, uh, most adult waists, unless you're like super skinny. <laughs> um, so as always, there are ways to modify these. You can use like a, you know, strap of Velcro or a shoelace or, or they do sell DX uh, belt extensions, which is what I use. And some people have actually modded these to use an actual belt strap. So again, there are ways to go about wearing it if you do want to wear it on your adult sized waist. But there you have the driver itself so let's just move on and let's talk about the gimmick for this year so what does our common writer get his powers from this year these things these are progress keys and this is what he will be using to achieve his various forms throughout the show and this is his base form progress key rising hopper ability jump you can see you have a grasshopper symbol right there the front is done in a very dark transparent plastic. You can see more of that nice highlighter color. That's what I call it anyway, because <laughs> it looks like a highlighter. It's immediately what it reminds me of. Uh, on the back, we do have some nice molded detail. You do have a QR code here on the back. You want to scan it? Go ahead. Free scan on me. You're welcome. And your battery compartment is right here. It has Side Pac Man! Just molded on it forever in shame. And you have an activation button right here up top. And the speaker is right here. And when we flip open this section of the key, you can see you get another grasshopper symbol there, and here you have kind of a uh, an X-ray kind of robots grasshopper going on there, and that looks pretty cool. I like that, I like the way it looks. And there's the opened progress key. And you just flip that close. And there you go. 
And just for a quick comparison, here is the progress key with last year's gimmick, the Ride Watch. Just so you can see how that works out. And for another quick comparison, here is the Zero One Driver with last season's Hiku Driver. So, there you go. So now, let's get down to two noises. So when we push the button here on the progress key, we get... Jump! And push it again. And there you go, push it again. Jump! Just goes back to jump. So, there you go, that's pretty much all the progress key does on its own. So, without further ado, let's get down to some henchening, but first we have to turn on the driver. And again, your on off switch is right back here. So turn it on and we get... Zero one driver! As always, it tells you what it is in case you already forgot. You know what, this, this... This doesn't feel right. This just doesn't feel right. I, I know what to do. I know what to do. That's right. We're bringing back the Ryder Can. The Ryder Can is not going anywhere. You know why? I know why. Because if the Ryder Can, you can. So let's get down to it. So the first thing you want to do is push the button on your progress key. And then you want to hold it up to this section of the driver here to authorize it. Standby music, which I love. Open up the key. The inserts. And... Henshin! And there you go. We have now transformed into Kamen Rider. Zero one, you can see the grasshopper symbol there lit up in the center, stays lit for a little bit. And there you have the driver now opened up and that again, it looks quite abstract, but quite cool at the same time. So now to do our final attack, all you're gonna do is just take the progress key and just push it in. So here we go. Explosions things happen because it's awesome. So there you have the rising impact. Now, when you have a progress key plugged into the driver, it is locked in there. You can't just yank it out or you're going to break something. How you disengage the progress key is to close the driver. So just slide this section back over. That disengage noise and the progress key comes right out. Like so, so. Now, if you use the progress key in different ways, you will get different results. So if we don't push the button on the progress key and we don't scan it, this is what will happen. You get that. Now, if we don't push the button, but we scan it, Get that. But if you want to do some proper henching, you got to push the button. Scan. And henching. Yes, yes it does. So now we can move on to some other features here. Now, if you have a second progress key, which we should all have at least two progress keys, especially if you bought this one first, you should have two progress keys and we can actually get more attacks out of Rising Hopper using a second progress key. Now, you don't wanna push the button. You don't wanna actually authorize it. You're just going to hold it up to the driver and scan it and this is what happens. You get that, and then push the progress key in. Impact. 
And we can keep going. Do it twice. And we can keep going. Do it three times. And we can keep going. Do it four times. And guess what? We can keep going. And we can keep going! And that is it. You can go all the way up to Terrorize and get the Terra Impact. So that's pretty cool. That's a really cool feature. So let's continue on because since we brought in Flying Falcon, now we can finally hear everything that Flying Falcon does in the driver itself. So let's disengage this progress key. And we will bring in Flying Falcon. Oh, I'm prepared. I'm very prepared. So there you have a Flying Falcon, and we'll do our attack. So you have the Flying Impact, and now we'll do the uh, second scan here. Now I'm not going to go through all the noises all over again, it's pretty much going to be the same thing, you're just going to hear flying in front of all of them, so we're just going to go straight to the end here. things happen. So there you have Flying Falcon. Hooray! So there you go. So there you have the Zero One driver. Uh, this thing is cool. I like it. I really like it. I like the design of it. Again, it's abstract, but it's cool. Um, I love the gimmick. I love the way this belt works in general. I just think this is just really fun. Really fun in my opinion. 
So yeah, very much looking forward to what Zero One has in store for us for the coming year as far as the show goes, and also very much looking forward to what the toy line has to come as well. So yeah, yeah, definitely looking forward to this. This is, I, I, I think this is going to be fun. So there you go. Now, there are many sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as CS Toys, Hobby Link Japan, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course, there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some common writer items. They mostly just sell figure arts at this point, but if you want to check them out, I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Zero One playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Common Rider 01 DX Hidden 01 Driver. And this is M Games saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Home in your face.